This simple memorial near Toronto's Eaton Centre catalogues a grim reality. It lists 700 homeless people who've lost their lives on the streets of Canada's largest city. Children are included in these names. There are many reasons why people live on the streets. Financial ruin, mental illness, addiction and abuse are some of them. Lost my job, a lot of tragedy in my life, family died. Uh, things just happened that way and uh, <laughs> I'm here with, you know, homeless right now. My little problem is that my past status paper is not. That's why I was sent to I had a guy crack me in the nose last night. I had my back turned to him and he was, he was a little wacky. I stood up and all of a sudden, bang, some guy hit me in the back of the head. When I turned it around, I got a fist to the nose. You know, you worry every night where you're going to sleep and uh, just the fact that, you know, you're, you're not in a home environment. So you just feel a, a very isolated, you know, you, you, you know, there's a lot of people going through, but sometimes you feel like you're the only one, especially when you haven't experienced it before. So that can really, that's, it's very traumatic, you know. Every Saturday of the year, the Muslim Welfare Center provides lunches to the homeless in downtown. In the winters, the Muslim Welfare Center also provides coats, hats, socks, and sleeping bags. Most of the winter clothing is collected at the annual RIS convention, which draws thousands of visitors from all over Canada and the United States. Through your support, the Muslim Welfare Center donates hundreds of winter coats and other essentials in freezing temperatures to the city's most vulnerable people. You know, it means a lot, you know, that they take the time and they think of others, especially when it's cold out and, and it, they, don't, they don't have to, right? So it means a lot, you know, it's very touching. <laughs> 